What works best versus what works. Then, from that scatter diagram, we have all the numbers. Five kids got eight right, that's 40 questions right. Uh, six kids got seven right, that's 42 more. And you add it up. There's a lot of people who share a continuous improvement and data in their schools, in their workshops, but they don't add up the total for the class. If you went into an athletic event and there was no scoreboard, you'd say, what's the deal here? How are we gonna know what's going on? You walk into a classroom and nobody says, what's the total for the whole class? Nobody says that. It is the simplest, most powerful thing you can do with data, which is add up the total for the whole class. Add it up. If it's rubric scores, add it up. If it's keyboarding speed, add it up. If it's writing, add it up. The total for the whole class, they love it. And we call that all time best. When they get the total for the whole class, there is your all time best. There's an AP literature class, biology class, because formative evaluation that's not graded gives us an incredible feedback on how the students are doing. Feedback, I'm gonna talk about that for a second. Feedback is teacher to kid, but the most powerful feedback is kid to teacher. And, and so you know, all through the year, are we on target? We've used up 40% of the time. Are we getting 40% right as a class? We used up 75% of the time. Are we getting 75% right as a class? We, we know where we are when we add up the total. 